Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and today's video is, can only be described as a super haul. Wait till you see some of the things I've got. I got antiques, I got collectible, I got jewellery, I got silver. Oh, one car boot sale, Gatlige, my regular, and I have had a stormer of a day. And to be totally honest with you, if I had more money on me, I could have bought more. I ran out of bloody money. Um, today, I've had quite a bit of Titanic memorabilia. It's not of the period, but it is absolutely spectacular Titanic memorabilia. Um, over the moon, it's come in really cheap. I'm gonna start off showing you the Titanic pieces. You're gonna absolutely love them. And then, as usual, I'm gonna pan over all the pieces I bought. You get to see what I bought, how much I paid for it, and uh, what I'm expected to make. And to be honest with you, for probably a £120 layout today, I'm gonna get a couple of thousand pounds back. That's how good a day is gonna be. So, I'm gonna start off. Do you know what? I'm gonna cut the video, and I'm gonna show you some of the Titanic pieces, because they really deserve to be looked at tidy. See you in just a minute, guys. This is the first um, piece. It's a picture of the Titanic done in high relief. So the ship is actually in three dimensional, raised off the uh, board. Now it's made of resin, uh, the ship is anyway, on a wooden board, and it's all really beautifully printed. Now, what can I say other than it is absolutely spectacular? I know it's not of the period, it's just a Titanic memorabilia piece, a commemorative piece, but it is absolutely superb. Now, I've got a good collection of Titanic pieces to show you. All come from the specialist Titanic memorabilia auction. Bear with me. Where are they? You know, just as a display piece, if you like the Titanic or if you've got a pub or anything. Wow, some of these pictures are amazing. Titanic, as you know, is the most famous uh, disaster, I think, of all time, or one of them. Now, you're not going to believe how much I've paid. For those two absolute boots there now bearing in mind the size i'd say they're a good three to three and a half foot across that was three and a half foot high um i paid 20 pound each literally 20 pound each i'm going to be 100 pound each minimum in the shop on these two and that's a minimum i think this one here could pull more money than uh, 100 but i'm going to do my research in a minute and we're going to have a look what they're actually worth Oh God, look at those two guys. But that's not it. I'll move across then to this beautiful brass compass. And it is a replica of one of the Titanic. Again, no doubt. But there's all the Titanic history. Picture of the Titanic underneath. New York Times sinking of the Titanic. So, you know, it's in a real leather pouch with a plaque on top was three quid guys three quid how the hell can you buy that for three pound stormer or what absolutely amazing i'll show you all the rest of the pieces in a minute but i just want to show you the titanic stuff then we come over here to newspapers now, I'm not 100% if these are period, but they certainly don't say reprints on them. Normally, when they reprint them, they put a reprint on them. Um, but there it is, all the headlines and the front pages and that um, from when the Titanic sank. Why were there only 20 lifeboats for 2,207 people on board the ill-fated Titanic? 
Now, you ain't gonna believe me when I tell you this. Whether they're reprints or whether they're original, I couldn't give a monkey to be totally honest with because they're gonna frame up and look amazing in a pub. They really are. These are gonna be used as decorative art somewhere. And to be totally honest with you, most of them are laminated. And they've had them on display, like they've had little Velcro pads on the laminating. And they laminated to protect the papers. Now I understand if they're original, it haven't helped. But it haven't damaged the papers at all. I could open the laminate up. I paid £6 for the entire collection, guys. I think I can get a tenner a piece for these. For every one of these pages that's laminated up. And it's got to be 30, 40 pages here in total. Look at that. All you can see to that is absolutely wow. You frame that up and you really got something that looks amazing. Do you know what I mean? I th I'd say looking at the condition of these, they're original. I'm not going to go through all the, the papers, guys. Um, but it gives you an idea. You can see the clump. I've got um, I don't care what they're selling online we will look but I don't really care because I think I can get a tenner a piece for them in the shop so there's going to be about £300 return by there then I had this replica scale replica might I add done to scale of 1136 1, of the Titanic and again, that was four pounds. The unsinkable ship of dreams. The plastic's a bit broke on the top. But you know what, guys? Oh, what? What can I say? Absolutely spectacular. Okay, that is just the Titanic stuff. I'm going to show you all the rest of it now in a minute. But six pound on the newspapers, four pound on the um, Titanic replica, three pound on a compass. £40 on two beautiful wall art pieces for the Titanic. What am I going to get? One, two, let's say 300 conservatively there. That's five. It's about 30 quid on that. 530, another 30 quid on that. Over five and a half hundred pounds for my £50. And that's before I get to the antiques. I've got some beautiful antiques and some really nice jewellery and silver. Today has to be classed as a super haul. Now I'm gonna go through the um, stock that I got here now. Um, I've got everything. I've got a Victorian three draw telescope. I've got bronze horses to go on the fireside. Um, beautiful instrument. This one is a John Davis and son of Derby swinging hydrometer. And it's filled with mercury, old mercurial thermometer, or hydrometer. Oh, God, guys, honestly, so excited today is unbelievable. So I'm going to get to um, filming all these pieces now, and you can have a little look, and I'll tell you the prices I've paid, and then later on in the video, I'll show you some of the research I do on eBay, like I'll show you the price of hunting horns, and oh, something I've never seen before. Pool pottery tortoise. Now I've seen seals and oh my, everything. I have never seen pool pottery tortoise before. I love him. He's cute as hell. And if he ain't pulling good money on eBay, he's going in my garden. So yeah, um, I'll show you the pieces now, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Okay, so you've just seen the compass, the Titanic compass, so we'll leave that aside. I'll start off, I paid a pound for this solid brass coal miner with his little miner's lamp on the side. Now I come from a mining village, so this type of stuff sells really well in my shop down uh, the village. And I paid a pound for that and I'm going to get probably 12 or 14 pound for that. Moving on here to my three-draw telescope in lovely condition. 
does work. The lenses were slightly out of a line, so I've sorted that today, and it's all up and running and working beautiful. Can't find a maker's mark on it anyway. But I paid £8 for that. A Victorian telescope for £8. Oh, awesome. There's my pool turtle. Or tortoise, rather. I will get it right one day. Turn him up. There you go, Pool England on the underside. He's in beautiful condition. I always wanted one of these, real. And he was £4. But I love him. Really do. Nice copper and brass hunting on. Now, the earlier ones are almost rolled copper and they have a seam running up the line. So, if you imagine this flappy's copper, they roll around and then you'd see a seam running up here and they'd be the earlier ones. But these are still very collectible. Hunting horns are really sought after. I don't know if I told you, the hunting horn was three pounds. Couldn't remember if I told you or not. This beautiful instrument here. Hang on. There we go. John Davison, son of Derb Derby. And it is. Come on, zoom in now. Edney swing hydrometer. And as you can see, it's full of mercury. And it comes in this original box. Now I paid £8 for this, so it didn't come in for nothing, but I tell you what, oh, it's beautiful. Um, where do we go from here? Right, okay. I had a real nice, heavy, solid brass model of a horse. That was a pound. I'm not being funny, there's a kilo of brass there. So that's going to go out for probably £20. Now, I've told you over and over and over, when you see a box of cutlery or a, cup, or a tub full of cutlery to go through it. Now, I looked this morning and a woman had all spoons sticking out of a cup. And I said to her, how much do you want for the spoon? She said, oh, I want £4 for them. Some of them are silver plate. And I thought, okay. So I had a little glance through them. And what did I do? I pulled these four beauties out of there. Every one of them, solid silver. So, I've paid a pound a spoon now for these solid silver ones. Now, there was an absolute stormer of a tea caddy spoon in there. If you get these in silver, these sell for 30, 40 pound per spoon, if not more. 50 pound for some. This one is silver plated, unfortunately, as you can see, EPNS, which is electroplated nickel silver. I'll still sell that one for a few pounds. And there's a couple of uh, nice little sauce type spoons there. The rest will be in my scrap box. Because as you know, if you follow my videos, EPNS is basically brass. So I'll have nearly a pound back just in the spoons in the weight of brass alone. Moving along then, we got a sovereign holder. It's in base metal. But it is still a sovereign case. Oh, nearly dropped it. Cost me a pound. And to be totally honest with you, I'm happy with that. That's going to go for a tenner all day long. We had a really big two ounce solid silver bracelet with... Where is it? It's got a safety bar on there, so you can't... There. It's got a big safety bar on the side there, so you don't lose it. So I had two ounces of silver by there. That came in with the spoons for free. When I tipped the tub into my bag, that was in with them. So that didn't cost me a penny. It's two ounces of silver by there for nothing. Free and clear. Then we come down, and I've had a heap of jewellery, and I'm just going to average it out to two pound a piece. Because some of it was 50p, some of it was a pound, some of it was £2.50. So it's cheaper to just average out the £2 a piece um, across the board. All of it's solid silver, as you can see there. Some nice little necklace. Again, another silver necklace. We have a selection here. Crosses and hearts, all on silver. 
This one was really pretty. We had, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. We had a little silver 18. That's quite a nice silver ring. Silver uh, gate bracelet. Just average of two quid a piece, guys. Silver locket. This buyer, again, believe it or not, is over an ounce of silver. And it's hallmark somewhere, so there you go. Down in. Ounce of silver for there. Again, same price, two quid. I'm averaging it out, I am, guys. But, uh, wow. I've got the best uh, bit of silver to show you yet. We've got a little commemorative coin here, which is Queen Elizabeth, I think, 1935. Looking at that, need my eyeglass on that. We've got a silver box here. Needs a damn good clean, but we've got a silver box. Again, come in, two quid. Um, Where are we at? I'll, I'll stick with the jewellery a minute. I'm going to show you this one piece. It's absolutely spectacular. It's got the eagle on the side. The laurel leaves, leaves along the top. I think that's cut glass rather than a semi-precious stone. However, it's got a full set of import marks and hallmarks. Now, it's yellow silver, it's not gold. I wish it was bloody gold. That'd have been some good money, it's really heavy. Um, but it's yellow silver, fully stamped sterling, with a load of London import marks, 925. Now I paid four pound for that ring this morning. And seriously, that is as beautiful as they can for a gent's ring. So it's not going to be a cheap ring when I sell it on. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is like a college ring or something like that. Um, I'm going to do some research on it first. But it is spectacular. Quality in the weight and the finish is gorgeous. And for £4, it scraps it more. It's that heavy, it scraps more. <coughs> I'm moving on. We're getting towards the end. We have an egg coddler. Now, I thought the days of these were long gone, but uh, no, they're returning and they're pulling good money. This one's pattern is Clementine by Wedgwood. Um, this is a bit of modern, but it's perfect for my shop. It's a cast iron doorbell. Good weight to it. Got a nice pig on the top. And as I've said, I'm in a farming and mining community, so. I'm not going to struggle to sell that. This come in for a fiver, and to be totally honest with you, I could get 25 quid for that, 30 quid for that. No problem whatsoever. It's got a little bit of age, a little bit of rust. It's just a, just perfect, got a nice look. Moving on then, I absolutely adore these. They look bronze rather than brass. Um, let me compare to show you the difference in colour. I don't know if you can see it. This one's much yellower to this one. I'm pretty confident these are polished bronze. They're Victorian. They are done in the same way as the Staffordshire flatback figures, as in they're only decorated on the front, so they would go on a mantle or in front of your fire. They're really good quality, heavy, well cast, and absolutely beautiful, and a pair. And how do you know they're a pair? Because they're either facing each other or facing away from each other. Let me give you a look at the back. They're really good heavy pieces, loads of patina on the back, but you can see what I mean, the colour, it looks bronze more than brass. And they got the handmade bolts on them. So yeah, absolute stormer of a pair, really good weight. They didn't come in for nothing though guys, I paid £15 for them. They were almost the dearest thing I bought on the day. Um, the only other one dearer piece was the Titanic. But what a super haul, guys. Oh my god. Mm. 
really really happy for a day in Gatley Gay and I'm going to add up how much I'm going to make now I'll add up what I'm going to make and what it cost and then I'll tell you what I feel I'm going to get out of this uh, day's work okay guys so uh, let's start off here with the compass of the Titanic now there's quite a selection of compasses for the Titanic done, uh, all newish items, and they range from 25 to 40 pound, which was a little disappointing in the prices, 33s, 34s. So I'm going to be around 30, 35 pound, which is a little under what I thought, uh, but people do have to pay postage and things on them as well. Moving over. This was one of the biggest disappointments I had. This frame here, they sold it for £40 in May. Or they sold one like it. However, it was collection only in person. So that does make a difference to the price. Now, it's very limited on who will drive wherever that is to collect it when you sell it on eBay, yet someone did. Um, personally, I'm still going to be £85 on it in the shop. And they can walk out the door and hang it on the wall. There isn't another one on eBay at the moment. Uh, but £40 was disappointing. Plus they had to go and collect it. So I'm going to try 85 and we'll see where we go with it. Um, just as disappointing was this. Now they do them brand new. No, mine doesn't look new I must admit. Um, mine looks to have some age. However, they sell for basically £50. And there are others on there. There we go, there's another one there. Look, up for sale at £50. But again, I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to go £75 on it, no problem at all. I don't care. They can take it or leave it. I can always drop the price at a later stage. You can't increase. Now, moving on with the Titanic newspapers. Now, as you can see, £12 for a single page, £10 for a single page, £10, £10. And obviously it'll come down £6.79. Even the reprints, people are buying them to frame up. You know, five up there in a cheap pound frame. So, in the shop, I think people, you know, I'll ask a tenner. If they knock me down a couple of pounds, I'm still going to get close to my £10, guys. It's not going to be a problem. Um, and once they've taken all the best ones out of there then at the tenner, and for the double, I'll probably ask 20 quid. Once they've taken all the best, I can drop the others down to a fiver in um, a memorabilia box. So they were all right. So I'm, I'm not a million miles from where I thought. I thought about 500, 500 for the Titanic memorabilia. Um, the fact I'm in a shop retail, I should get close to that. Uh, yeah, there's the um, models of the Titanic of a scale 1136, one, one, the exact one I got. £26 there, however, if you come down, where are we, it was, others available a minute ago, uh, uh, no, where did they go then, it was others available just now, um, anyway, and they went all the way up to £75, oh there they are, £29, but they Thirty-eight, seven pound fifty, fifty-two, all the way up to £75 for the exact same one I got. So I'm thinking £25, £30 a fair price, since the majority of them are up that price. That £7.50 one is on auction, so that won't last long anyway. So they were okay. <clears throat> Moving over, I want to show you hunting horns and prices of hunting horns. £123 by there for a nickel and copper. £129. £80 with quite a bit of beaten up. Uh, £50. 33 to 45 so they've sold loads of them. Uh, vintage one there. £45. And so forth. All the way down to £35 there. So I'm going to be where I said, about £30, £35 for that hunting on, no problem at all. There's enough sold in that price range to justify that. That's not a problem at all, that's not. Ah, oh, the pool. 
Do you know, mine was a brown glazed, but I've pulled this one up to show you. A blue glazed one, $89.99. Mine, $25.99 <laughs> because it's the brown one. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. £27 or £26 plus a fiver delivery mine, so 30 quid. So it's not what I was expecting on that, I'll be honest with you. Um, but there isn't another one up for sale. And since they got, they got 30 quid, and they're asking 89 but I think I'm going to go up at about £40 and see where we get. If someone makes me an offer, then it can go. Now, the closest thing I could find to my bronze or brass fire, uh, firebacks of the horses was a single here sold for £36. And it's not a patch on the one I got. The base is solid. It isn't cast as well. Mine's got all pierced base. And mine's a pay. So I'm going to be up about £85 on my pay based on they got 36 for a single uh, moving along oh yeah the Wedgwood Codlet there's mine 16 pound by there all right that's the only two on there for my pattern all right 9.99 and 16 however let me show you the price of egg codlers now you'd think they uh, they're no longer in fashion that's a single 20 by there okay that's not expensive that's a single by there royal worcester uh egg cordler unknown design and a standard size 122 pound windsor chess piece egg cordler 102 pounds four by there for 90 pounds there's a single by there 63 pounds just giving you an idea guys something else to look at look at that £60 for a single with a horse rider on it. Wow. You can't get that money half the time for a Georgian drinking glass or a Georgian bit of porcelain. Christmas trees, egg, egg coddler, £51. So keep your eye open, guys. Egg coddlers pull money. Right, sovereign cases. Now, there's a few cases on you. <laughs> There's a gold one, £400. Well, we'd have gold value too, but uh, yeah. Coming down, the closest I could find in the sold listings to mine was a rolled gold one, which isn't really anything spectacular. They had £26 for it, plus four quid, 30 quid they had for theirs. Um, actually, currently up for sale now is a nickel one for 25 with three, so again, 30 quid. So I'm going to be about £28, 25 to 28 or 30 quid on that um, sovereign case. Then we move on to the Victorian era um, three draw compass telescope rather compass my, my mistake um, just giving you an idea of some of the prices on telescopes you are astronomical there's a World War two RAF one three draw um, that's very similar to what I got but there Victorian era three draw with the leather on it 85 pounds. £44 for a three draw, uh, £39. So, I'm comfortably going to get the 50 quid I was expecting on that telescope. Now, with the hygrometer, I found all the details. It was, uh, it was produced by Davis of Derby, produced various types of wet and dry thermometers, hygrometers. This device were in, were in manufacture from the mid 19th century. They were listed in an 1860 price list and were included in the catalogues of the 20th century. The version shown here is handheld device which was designed to swing like a football rattle. And that's the one I got. Uh, price wise, you can't put mercury on eBay because um, it's a dangerous substance. There has been one sold on eBay for a fiver, believe it or not. Now you couldn't buy the case as a pencil case for a fiver, so I'm ignoring that totally. I'm gonna be putting about 35, 45 pound on the, the instrument itself in the shop. Okay guys, what can I say? Absolute amazing day, super haul. Um, the Titanic stuff, as much as I love it, it was not as uh, good as I was hoping, but at the same time, I tell you what, 
with all them newspapers, I'll get a tenner each for the ones in the beginning and then afterwards I'll get a fiver each. So let's say conservatively 150 to 200 pound on the newspapers because there's a lot of them there. So if we said 200 on the newspapers, 75 pound a piece on the two wall arts. Okay, let's say 50 pound a piece on the two wall arts, 200 on those, there's 300. Uh, 30 on that, so that's 330. 30 on the campus, so that's 360. So we're up to 360 just on the Titanic memorabilia. All right. Then we're talking 20 pounds. So that's three. Let's add it up. 360, 380, 390. Let's say 35 pounds. 390, 425, 30 pounds. 425, 455. It's a tenner blade in cutlery. 465. It's 30 quid on the sovereign case lost count 465 495 um let's round it up that's a 500 right we're talking it's got to be 50 quid on that so it's 50 i'm going to be a, a good 50 to 70 pound on that ring to be honest with you so let's say 50 so there's 100 so we're up to 600 um i'm going to be 30 40 quid on the hydrometer let's say 40 so that's 40 I'm going to be 60 on them, so there's another 100, so that's 700. Um, I'm going to be 30 on the cowbell, so 730. Another 40 pound on the bracelet, 730, 770. Um, what else we got here? We got, that's an ounce there, that's going to be 30 quid, so that's 800. 20, that's 820, 825, 835, 845, 855, 865, so that's 20 quid on the box. Um, five reach on the spoons, 65, 880, 20 quid, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, let's say 50 quid by there, 950. I'm going to be best part of a thousand pounds return on the day, guys. If only every day could be this good. I'd blow the home for you in celebration, but I can't do it. I really can't. Shocking the price of these though, guys, isn't it? I bet you won't walk past them or them anymore. I already know you won't. The silver speaks for itself anyway. Disappointing I've had no gold. Um, this ring is absolutely spectacular though, but I, you know, guys, honest to God, it really is. Um, I'm gonna have to do a bit of research on it to find out, and it's a big size ring too. It fits my middle finger loose. Did have a ring. So, if it fits my middle finger loose, and I'm not exactly a small chap, I'm not going to be struggling on who I can sell that to. Absolutely stormer of a day. Um, it's going to add up over a thousand pound of resale, and that's going to be figures achieved realistically. Anyway, this has to be classed a super haul. So hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at it. I've absolutely loved buying it, doing the research on it, and I can't wait to sell it and get out there and buy some more. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, I really would appreciate a like and a share. I'm trying to uh, build on my subscribers, so anybody who's willing to share, please, please share. Um, you'll find me on Facebook. I have a page in the group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay. I have an eBay page, Antiques Arena Clearance. Make sure you have the word clearance. I have my own website, which I will be redoing. It's antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can come and see me at the shop. I have a uh, shop in Mountain Ash Town Centre. It's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. <coughs> Guys, bye for now.